Hi YouTubes, we are back at Los Serranos, but now playing the North Course. You can see my South Course vlog in an earlier video. I'm starting off a little differently on this one and showing off the tee shots of my fellow playing partners. You might recognize them from many other older videos. So yeah, this is the North Course and we're playing what they refer to as the Long Tees, which is just over 6,300 yards, but plays to a 71.4 course rating. Los Serranos is a course that is in our regular rotation. Though we mainly play the south course, which is famous for being one of the longer courses you can play here in Southern California. Now this was my first time playing the north, and it was actually pretty nice. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So yeah, back to my gameplay. Uh, after my slice drive, I found myself in the rough next to some trees, but it's no problem because there is an open line and it's a par 5. Just a smooth 7 iron to get back on the fairway. Now my third shot leaves me with 65 yards to the green, but I end up doing some sort of half choppy swing that makes my ball run off. Unfortunate. So now I got a chip super short sided and it's really awkward, but manages somehow finesse this down to about two feet from the hole. And what do you know, an opening round par after a bad slice off the tee. I'll take it. Now this par 3 played a little shorter that day than the listed 178 yards. I hit my 7 iron which ended up being a bit too much as it rolls off the back of the green. Now I don't really know what came over me on this hole, but I think I blacked out and channeled John Rahm or something. A great chip and a great putt. A miraculous up and down. Two parts to start, let us go. Dead straight. So this particular foursome is the group I play with most often, and I have yet to get out of the fourth place hole. I always end up last on the scorecard. But with this hot start, is this the round? I finally ascend out of the pit of despair to at least be third? Well, not with drives like that. Now I must say that was a pretty good recovery from there, though I did have to take a stroke for moving the ball from way deep in the trees. So as I always say, I don't want to be fourth place again, but my ugly messes are coming back with a vengeance on this hole. Now this location was just unfair. I tried to lightly put the ball off the patchy fringe, but the slope was just too steep. My ball catches the downhill slope and takes off in a hurry, ending up way past the hole. And so the beautiful E is erased and replaced with a plus two. Okay, now to forget about the previous hole, get back to the groove, hitting a favorite off the tee, my 4 hybrid. And it was a great one, right down the middle, leaving me with only 99 yards for my second shot. Well, 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 looks like Andy got his groove back. Now, was that double on hole 3 just a minor hiccup on my journey to get out of 4th place? 
Well, we shall see. Let's bring it back to back with my four hybrid and oh no, what an ugly miss hit. Uh, well, it's okay. Uh, it's still rolling on down the fairway. Forward progress is good progress. Okay, second shot, six iron. I love my six iron. Now uh, let's just ah, oh chunked. Oh no, it's happening. The unraveling, the unraveling has started. Okay, maybe not yet. Still my third shot. Just gotta do a smooth sandwich. And oh jeez. It went over onto the next zip code. Goodness me. So I'm chipping from way down there from the next city over and uh, I somehow managed to chip it up from way downtown. Not on the green though, but the outcome was still way better than I hoped. Now I'm putting off that patchy fringe again and I manage a great lag putt to get it within tap in slash give me distance. So after all that, I take another double. For this hole, I gotta bring back the sad music, because this is a tragedy wrapped in a disaster. Okay, dramatic much, but yeah, that was a rough triple. So this was also the debut of my 5 wood. It's a tailor-made Sim2 Max 5 wood that I got used. Got it from 3balls.com. Shout out to them, I've used them before for secondhand golf clubs. After all the applicable discounts for this club, it came out to about $130 for light new condition. Now I couldn't pass that up, especially since I was looking for a 5 wood after ditching my 3 hybrid. And this was my first round using it. Turns out I used it the best on this round. All subsequent rounds have been awful with it though. Uh, you'll see in future videos. Ouch. Alright, not gonna lie, that was probably top 3 one of the best shots of my life so far. It felt amazing off the face and it was striped down the middle. Now, I've been chasing that feeling on my 5 foot ever since. It was most likely an anomaly though because I've never hit it like that since. And yeah, you'll also realize I stopped recording the other's tee shots. I got a bit lazy after a while so I ended up stopping. My bad. I must say my lag putting this round wasn't too bad. It saved me quite a few strokes this time around. Now I'm not qualified to give anybody tips, that's obvious from seeing my videos, but I've been told this by someone much better than me, so I'm just repeating that. For high handicappers that have an uncomfortable long putt, don't focus so much on the hole and trying to make the putt, but rather imagine a much larger circle surrounding the cup and just try to get it close and within that larger circle. Get it in gimme range. Definitely practice your pace 
because the green reading will come. So after all that, finally have a birdie chance. But I gave it a bit too much respect on that line. It was a great effort though because I gave it a chance. It went past and stayed above the hole. Though I am still very happy to finish hole 9 with a par. So for the front 9 at my round at Los Serranos North, I am at 46, plus 10 over. Had that costly triple on par 3 and some silly mistake doubles. But still have a lot of positives to take away and I'm really pleased with my game so far. For those of you that watch these to get an idea of the course, hopefully this has helped. Los Serranos, both north and south, are great fun courses. But I wouldn't recommend it to be in your golf course rotation only because it's crowded there already and we're tired of waiting. No, I'm just kidding. If you haven't played it yet, definitely try Los Serranos. And play the south course to give yourself a challenge. Because as I mentioned earlier, it's a very long course. So it'll give your long irons a chance to come out of the bag. Now on the upcoming part 2 of this north course vlog, let's see if I finally make it out of 4th place.